be creative about it. Bring it to the movies. Uh, put that Wait. hole in the popcorn and make her go ahead and reach in to get a nice surprise. I'm always like, you want to see the goods? Bam, there it is. What do you feel? How do you feel? I'm always asking questions. Right? Your, your pants would be here, already off. Especially, well, you have to. You're in a jacuzzi. But for some, but, but you were planning the jacuzzi, correct? So you're no. going in your in your in your underwear. You're going in your boxers. You're going in whatever. Right. So, right. Whoopsie daisy. The human race is divided in two distinct sexes, male and female. While the typical man is a simple creature, there exists a subgroup, the nice guy, a dying breed of chivalrous, romantic, domesticated gentlemen whose qualities are desired by the opposite sex, allegedly. However, they are dismissed and confined in such concepts as the bestie, work husband, and the dreaded friend zone. Joe, Jason, and Manny are the last of the nice guys. Yeah, so I told the person hey, hey, to hey. stop. And I, 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 apparently he, stick, he stuck it up my ass. And... Hey guys, how you doing? How is everything going? uh manny we're, we're on we're on we're on oh hey. sorry sorry yeah Hello. sorry it's okay we're having that uh, we were having that conversation i did yeah yeah i didn't even know like Jay, he just put it on and hey this what's going on recorded <laughs> what's, what's what's going on everybody how's everyone doing um welcome to another episode of the last nice guys i am joe and with me are jason and manny and no, 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 nice guys and we have a topic that i have no idea what it, it, it's it's about nope. um i was not told mm-hmm. apparently it's supposed to be a funny one um allegedly so let's let's see uh let's see what it is but first we've got comments that we're gonna just that we're gonna respond to the first one that we have here allegedly allegedly allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. where is it allegedly. where is it um i'm still getting i'm still getting uh approval approval text messages and messages from friends uh who definitely approve of my behavior when it came to my ex's um stuff it was good morning i'm listening to episode 50 of the last of the nice guys jay you are not wrong so that's coming mm-hmm. from carla love carla she you know i cannot confirm or deny was my first college crush but yes literally said jay you it are was. Not wrong. and this it is was. this is a um a woman ladies and gentlemen who says I wasn't wrong. And, I, and I'm glad to hear it. And I, like I told her, thanks, Carla. Uh, trust me, I need to hear that. Because I do need to hear that. Because, because when you do something like that, and you're, whether, you, whether you're a nice guy, former nice guy, budding nice guy, when you do something like that, you, you, you might need a little, little, little validation because it's sometimes too aggressive. And it definitely goes beyond what I'm used to. So, but yes, thank you for that comment, Carla. Thank you for listening. You're the, you're the best. Um, ooh, that's the wrong, wrong comment. There was another. It was. One. Look at you. Look at you. Episode forty nine. Shut up. Shut up. Because I have many different things. I know, but like, you didn't get the right. Comment. Adrian, um, actually, who checked out our last of the nice guys episode fifty, he actually said that he was he put LOL. He was loving and absolutely loving the pizza shit um, <laughs> shirt. Just so you know. Yes. He he that, cracked that was about a, that. That was a good shirt, know? though. And, he, and, he, and shirt. He, he somehow when I said I hold my own that 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 tickled him as well. So thanks, Adrian. Uh, Joe, you you know Adrian, Adrian, Adrian. Yeah, yeah, Adrian. Uh, Brooklyn, New York, Adrian. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, um, it was Adrian, and then blog I or bloggy mommy. No wait, I think she wrote something. Or maybe that's that's for the geek bros, but I could have sworn she wrote something for episode forty nine. You don't remember, do you? No, it was here. Oh no, it wasn't. It was Crystal Addison. Crystal Addison commented. Um, Laugh my ass up. According to Joe, I'm dried up. Some <laughs> of us are almost 40 with no kids by choice. I personally never wanted any. 
So that was her responding to Joe's comment. On <laughs> you see, Joe, you see, you see how you, salty they are. Did you want to? Did you want to? <laughs> you want to double down on that, Joe? Did you want to apologize? What am I apologizing for? That's what. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's, that's, <laughs> what am I apologizing? For? <laughs> I didn't make the rule book up. That's the I, science. That's biology. That's, that's biology. That's, know, that's basic biology and scientific bullshit. It, I mean, seven. after thirty-five. Um, yeah, I get you. I get you. So thank you for the comments. Um, I will try my best to read out your comments. I just be forgetting sometimes. So if you if you did comment, do what, 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 what Juan did and call me out on it. Hey, you didn't read my comment. Trust me, I'll apologize and I'll read it the next episode. So without further ado, episode, who cares? Um, the topic today is... 51. <laughs> the topic today is when is it okay to whip it out? Oh, Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Listen, we've had some really, really heavy episodes. I think the last repeat, five or six. It? Can you repeat that again? Yes. When is it okay to whip it out? Son of a bitch. Cool whip. Okay. When is it okay to whip it out? So, again, the last couple of episodes are really heavy. Um, the, the three that I did and then the, the, I think the last two. And I just said, you know what? It's time for something fun, something light. So, gents, I, this is going to be a short episode, just so you guys know, because this is not anything thought-provoking. It's just going to be a lot of jokes and and uh, and poking fun at, at, at Joe's size. So, um, let's just size. ask a question. What? Joe, when is it okay yeah. to whip it out? Uh, are we talking, like, what's the situation? When is it okay? You give me a situation. When is it okay to whip it out? Um... When do you fir- when see. do you first feel comfortable to take out Mr. Bean, man? Yeah, like during errands, car rides, shopping toward a woman. Uh, what we, <laughs> clearly, that's what we're talking about. When is it okay to whip it yeah. out? In Men don't care for that shit. It's <laughs> ah, a good one. <laughs> um, when is it okay to whip it out? Yeah, when is it okay to whip it out? <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, uh, I, I, if it's like a okay, so if it's like a first date thing, I. <laughs> Probably and you and like you really were an asshole. I'd probably say on the like on the first date, given the fact. Uh, I mean, given a, a certain time, like maybe you're in the car together, mm-hmm. and you kind of want to give that connotation that you want to do something, or better yet, be creative about it. Bring it to the movies. Uh, put that Wait. hole in the popcorn, and make her go ahead and reach in to get a nice surprise. But you know what? That's very technical because I, you know, if you if you think about it, it sounds funny. But then you gotta get like like then you gotta get yourself hard. Are we if we're being technical? Some yeah, of us then, don't have that problem, sir. Oh, oh, oh dried up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna, you're gonna keep that on me on the whole night. I know it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So like, how about like how about on a first date? Who cares? Yeah, but, yeah, but you never you never with a woman that you really want and just the sight of her makes you rock hard. Yeah, you but even... you would probably yeah, well, yes. Okay. Because this is just the excitement alone makes you rock hard. Yeah, two two for me in my life did that. Yeah. Uh I'm not saying well, no names, but two for me did that in my life. Yeah, and I, I definitely because they're men. I'm, I'm very shamed because they are men. They're they're drag queens. So I was very uh I was I was taken back by the by the sheer beauty and all I all I felt um down there was the was the tent that came up. Manny, oh, when, when is the right time to whip it out? <laughs> Yo, I have wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Honestly, no. Truthfully, truthfully, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. You said your piece. Honestly, you said. You said pe- no, you no. I don't want to say. I don't, I don't think. I yeah. But that's like a. That's like a joke. Thing. This is a which, joke episode, which, but okay. Right, but what I, I've, I've always, I really, ha- like, I've, I really did want to try to do that before, but not on the first date. Like, I want to do it when you, when you're like in it with the, with, with your partner, and are then you like not, you, you not, joke around. Are you not a, uh, you know, engaged? I'm not talking about I did it with this one. I'm talking about like in the past. I, I wanted to go ahead and try it. Right, but you, but you said when you were involved in 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 in, in, in it with a, with with a woman. Well, you are involved. Yeah, like in like like woman, so like we'll it was it a now. couple of months, like a couple of months. Oh, well, into it. Now, yeah, yeah. Like well, at this point right now, it. your sex life is stale right now, so you need to, to to spruce it up. So 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 put on some Netflix, some chill, and put get yourself one of those, those microwave popcorns and pop it in there. See what happens. Oof. Good luck. That butter's hot. Yeah, that shit. That shit's hot, man. Jay, really. You really want dude, like- dude it, it might it might blotch up your your dick. It might, but it'll match the rest of your skin. It'll give it. It'll definitely give it some color. It'll match the rest <laughs> of my skin. Yeah. 
I.e., he's a, he's a walking coloring book, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you this right now. He's a walking coloring book. Yeah, not, not my dick, though. No, but you, if, if you, your dick can't be the only pale part of you, that's going to stand out. It is. Okay. But it's not pale. No, yeah, it is. Then let's just be fair. <laughs> let's just be fair. That is the only reason why it stands out. Exactly. <laughs> Manny, when is it okay to whip it out? With the um, whip it out. Damn. So with me, you know, because I just don't care. Um, I'm always like, you want to see the goods? Bam, there it is. What do you feel? How do you feel? I'm always asking questions. Like, what are you into? Are you where is it? The man and she goes, she goes, where is it? Yeah, where, that never happens. <laughs> that, that's why I have three children. Okay. So you can, it's never where that is it? That makes sense. Oh, damn. There you go. Um, hold out, hold out, hold out. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, huh? I, I don't, I don't strike out, out, sir. I don't strike out, sir. <laughs> I'm always hitting home runs, okay? Home runs, because I like to play with baseball and balls. Um, but yeah, man. Um, it to, to, honestly, it it all depends on the vibe of the night. You know, uh, I've had I've been raped once. It was horrible. Um, I didn't like it, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> nice. Um, I was too, but I loved it. I didn't like it. I didn't like the the, okay, the person. Jay, we all know your type of rape that you had was different than Manny's. Come on. No, no, mine was. You're right. It was a three sub. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. Ooh. I love college days. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't like the particular person that it was. I, I actually was. I, I had to get drunker to be comfortable to do it, which was horrible. So whatever. Um, but yeah, it, it all depends on you know your comfortability with the mm. individual that you're with. Um. Obviously, it would never happen for Joe. So, um, you know, just, just you know, I, I don't know. It just, it, it just depends. With me, I'm always, uh, it's always out. You know, I just, I wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I wear pants that, you know, because they're, I, I have to buy my pants specially knitted and. Um, You're right. I understand for the girth. Yeah. I, I, I know. I yeah, trust it's, it, they're always hanging out. I can't help it. You know, it's, it's always there. You guys sure, you guys sure know a lot about each other's peens. What's going on? Well, you know, as as we said in the last episode, we were hanging out till four o'clock in the morning at his house, and yeah. you know, I oh kept, man, I, I missed I kept, that. I, yeah, I kept having to tell him, "Hey, eyes up here, bro. Eyes up here. Come on, come on." And he I just, can't believe I missed that. Listen, let's just say there was more than one tripod in my house that night. Okay, right. So, so I can say, um, no, for me, the best time to whip it out is when you're in a jacuzzi, you're feeling nice, and you got a hookah going on with you. That's the best time to whip it out. That's when you do it. So said, never, never go to a jacuzzi. But Jay, you, how would how would you do it? In, huh? in, during during how, how would you present it in during the hookah? Oopsie uh, daisy. Oh, okay. You well, a nice whoopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Especially you ever, your your pants would be already off. Especially well, you have to. You're in a jacuzzi, but for some, but, but you were planning the jacuzzi, correct? So you're no. going in your in your in your underwear. You're going in your boxers. You're going in whatever. Right. So right. Whoopsie daisy. That's no. a, actually a good. Um, no, I in agree. Other words, I wish you would be great. You, 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 you gotta. Seven. You you need the confidence. You have to have the confidence behind it. Okay, can't just go. Oops. Like no, you ever seen no, that movie? That's, that, that's the term. Ever, <laughs> but I'd be like, eh. <laughs> eh? Have, you, have you ever seen that movie Wanderlust with Paul no. Rudd? Yes, oh, okay. I love it. I so love, there's I love that movie. no, no. It was a funny movie. There was a part in the movie where he he gets set up for like a he his wife. Jennifer Aniston, which I don't even know why he allowed this to happen because she's gorgeous, um, allows him to have, you know, coitus with another individual. And then the the entire moment he's in the bathroom trying to psych himself out. You know, he's trying to sell, like, try to come up with ways on to tell the woman that he's going to have sex with or whatever. And the whole time he's like, do you like my erection selection? Uh, you know, uh, how do you feel about my penis? I'm, I'm going to put my dick in your vagina. Like he's, it's, it's hilarious scene. And that's exactly how I go about it. It's like, yo, so uh, how do you feel about this ginormous, you know, ham hock, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I just it it's my ham hock. <laughs> yeah, I, mm, how do you want that? So it's always, on the go it's always prepared you know so i gotta well, you know the reason why i brought that is, is because since we were never ever gonna see these women again i <laughs> wish i wish you're right that i let I, I let it i whipped it out that night when we were in in, in the jacuzzi just for the hell of it what what up what's the worst <laughs> that could have happened in the end we never, i know we never saw them again anyway you so, really should have though you really should have. I, that, you would, know, that would have been 
Yeah, but you you know should have presented the idea. You should have presented it because you have. missed an opportunity. I should have because I was in I was in boxer briefs and it could easily slipped out, especially with why the hell were you in boxer yeah. briefs? Because yeah. that's what we again we went to the spot and there was a jacuzzi in there. We were not oh you didn't pre-plan it, so you didn't we have pre-plan. We just hopped in, so we were wearing. On the shirts and oh, then, you guys should have had the perfect oh, opportunity we, we, doing we, we it. Oh my have, god, we should have, but we didn't. But it's because I thought this was the beginning of a beautiful double date relationship. Had I known this was gonna be a one and done, that was, I would have whipped it out for the hell of it and see what happened. Because of, that, because of that guy, it's not his fault. It's not his fault at all. <laughs> it's but, his face, mother. But <laughs> no, no, but I mean, that's serious. I think I think a good time. If you're feeling it, you guys having a good time. <laughs> you know, play the whoopsie daisy. I, I mean, why not? Why the hell not? Is it a dick thing to say? Absolutely. Do I care right now? Nope. Another uh, good moment of, yeah. of whipping it out. Um, I think I, I don't know if I told you this, but back in Mexico on the last day, uh-huh. uh, my buddy Sean um, wanted to make a goal to skinny dip with people that we met there. That is and absolutely that, perfect. And that is exactly yes. what he did. He did it with uh, when I had to swim up in my room because uh-huh. everyone was there every single night, every single day. Yeah, it was, it was the spot. Place, they yeah. went, they went in the back and the last night, the last day <clears throat> he decided like, I'd be like one, two in the morning. All I heard uh, that night was, was people partying and stuff like that. Cause I was in the room and I was like kind of recovering from the passing out that I did, but he was, he was good. He was, he was out there. Right. He was, he was uh, at least four or five of them, dude. You're that right. would have been impromptu, your thing. Impromptu skinny dipping absolutely is a perfect time to whip it out. That would oh man, oh that would be great, dude. Absolutely, oh. absolutely. Mm. So we have hot tubs, we have skinny dipping. We've got uh, uh, movie theaters with butter and popcorn. What's next? Skiing, 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 skiing. skiing. Yeah, <laughs> shrinkage, shrink. What are you talking no, about? It's no, I don't. Shit. I I love the cold, bro. Like it just. Does it your tripod be- love the cold? Oh, it, yes, it does. No, the he fuck loves it. Uh, it shrinks. It he goes does right it. Inside of you. Bro, there's always ice involved. Let's just put it that way. I've, oh, he's 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 been he's, right, he's give, ready me this, for this. give me the skiing scenario because I don't I don't see anything sexy or whipping it out during skiing. Just naked skiing, bro. Like you go down <laughs> the ski yeah. slopes. Leave leave your jacket on, keep your pants off. Yeah, you just go all the way down, and once you're at the bottom, it's like, hey. <laughs> It's Listen, looking like high tide. There's no all, water. I will find some. <laughs> all business up here, pleasure downstairs. <laughs> all right, business upstairs, party downstairs. I man. think and a good time, a good time to whip it out is after a night of drinking and you're at the party and you take some girl around the, the side of the club and you just whip that sucker out. I've done that years ago, and you just um, mount up against the, against the, against a van and you you get it in. I've got a story. <laughs> go for it i Yo. got a story story time um so there was this brand new Yay. nightclub at uh at, at at the disclosed location um that just opened up and a disclosed friend of mine invited me and another disclosed friend to said disclosed club yeah she's gross yeah, it's a lot of disclosure. Um, so we go to the club or whatever, and and my friend and I are there. We're hanging out, talking to people, we're drinking. Or I'm sorry, I'm drinking because he doesn't drink. Um, ooh, and ooh, and uh, no, no, it, uh, I will never say boo because you always have a designated driver with this type of friend. It was great. All what's he that? wanted. To do... <laughs> I mean, there was, goes, there, was, there was taxis. There was taxis. You know, it was an Uber back then. There was taxis. I don't want to hear that no. bullshit. It was a free ride, man. I don't care. Anyway. So I get in there and uh, another, I don't want to say friend, but an individual that I knew uh, was trying to talk to this individual or a female that was a shot girl that I knew that got us into the club, um, was trying to like say something to her or whatever. And um, my boy was like, oh, it looks like you got some competition. I was like, what? I was like, you want to see how competition gets settled right now, big boy? Check this out. She's like, she comes up to me. She's like, you want a shot? I'm like, aren't you also a massage girl? She goes, yeah. I said, I need a massage. We went upstairs Ooh. and like 45 minutes later, I came back down with a nice smile because I whipped it out. And my boy's like, um, where were you? I was like, oh, I got a nice massage upstairs. Do you need a massage girl? Just don't take that one. <laughs> 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 and that other guy that was like, you know, trying to like, you know, oh, outstep me. He was nowhere to be seen. He was gone. He says, yo, uh, homeboy over there was like, 
I'm out. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry. So, no, that's yeah. how you whip it out. That was a good whip out. That was a good. I can't whip pronounce it out. Like, huh? I can't pronounce it like you guys. Whip, 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 whip it. Whip, whip it out. Whip, whip it. Whip it out. Whip it. You just lost like at least. Like, oh no! This, no, this is of... this is no no. This is um EDM or what is it DSMR? What is it called? <laughs> um, ASMR. A- this is ASMR. Do you like my whip? Cool whip. Whip it out. Whipping. Oh, whip it out. Whip Ouch! It out. That is the yeah, sound we... that you will make when I that whip it. That is too it. funny. That is way <laughs> too funny. Um, another time to whip it out. Let's see. Um, in the rain. When it's like, oh, what the fuck was you wanna... the elements? No, I'm just saying, because listen, listen, because this is the perfect time, right? We in Florida, we get uh, this torrential downpour of rain and that those... lasts for like five to ten noise. minutes. That is not. And it... a, that is not a Floridian accent. Hey, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm that is sorry, Bugsy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't even know what a Floridian accent sounds like. Anyways, it's kind of countryish, oh. I think. Really? I can't yeah, do it. Yeah, it's a little country. Know. It's a little country. It's a little twang in it, but I don't really like those people anyways. They, they can suck. Uh, anyways, so when it's, it's torrential downpour, <laughs> it's a torrential downpour. You're sitting in the car. Listen, Muggsy like, Bogues. Come on. Give me something else. <laughs> okay. I'll give no, you Go echo. back to Muggsy. Go back to Muggsy. <laughs> go back to Muggsy. I got it. I got it. In 1948. <laughs> 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 sounds like one of the loonies one of the loonies being strangled by the balls you sound like a fucking woman named Mildred <laughs> hey in 1948 before you whippersnappers had your fancy automobiles we sat in carriages <laughs> and that's where we whipped it out <laughs> I whipped out my titties too <laughs> okay Millie 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 okay Millie <laughs> Christ Oh man! So, Fucking um, Christ. you know, you don't want to let the girl go out. You know, it's, you had a great night, great date, great dinner, whatever have you. It's a great time. It's downpouring outside. You're like, oh well, you know, well, might as well just hang out in the car for a while. Hey, there's nobody around because no one can see through five feet in front of them with all the rain. <laughs> might as well let this happen. <laughs> so whipping it out in a car while it's raining, torrential rain. I like that. I it's so do. romantic though because the the sounds of the the rain on the car it's like so nostalgic. It's you like, know what's oh, a good man. good time is it, it, is when it's not hot out, it's cool out. You're on the pier. You know, maybe it's in West Palm Beach, maybe it's down here, who knows? And you are you know, you're doing the the what is it? I call it the um the prom Hurricane? pose. No, the <laughs> no, the prom <laughs> pose. You know where the where the girls there and you're holding her from behind and and you start, you kind of just start like poking her in the back with something, and then and she's you, like, "Ooh!" You, you whispered just, her ear. You yeah, shut, you, shut up. You you literally described what old Japanese men do to young schoolgirls on the train in Japan. Anyway, so you're on a pier, and you just poke her in the back a little bit. You know, whisper in her ear. You probably just, you know, a little little bit of nubbling. <coughs> creep. And then you just Joe <laughs> again. You just Joe it out. again. So no, it's not the wrong person. He's the right Joe, person. Again, and that's, and that's it. And you just whip it out at that moment. I see what happens. Yeah, I'll just. Like uh, I'll it's just kind of my... it's, it's a little more romantic than it is rapey. I'm just throwing it I'll, out there. I'll I'll just put my arms around your hip, girl, and uh, just if you feel a tug on your on your lower back, or even on your back, your 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 bottom leg, because I'm I'm too short to reach your butt. Just make sure. Just make sure. <laughs> Wow. Is that your belly? Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh god. Can you can, can you can you smack that mosquito on my back leg, please? <laughs> smack Big it off. Things the ladies say to Joe, I know. You know, another <laughs> another good time to whip it out on is when you're giving someone a massage and they're sitting right here in front of you and just right here and everything's just there, and you're just like, oh yeah. Oh. I don't know what's going on down there, but it feels like a party. How's your shoulders feel? Are they nice and loose yet? <laughs> that oh. is true. Giving giving a massage period is the best time to whip it out because that's that's it that's, is. that's erotic. I was actually gonna there. think about yeah. 
does yeah, it does it does massage. it count if it's already out during the massage? Like I just out there the whole time and well, no, that's, that's, no, that's, it that's, doesn't. But that's not when you whip it out. You whip it on her. That's it. You go right. You go. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna give you. you go. I'm gonna give you. What do they call that? I'm gonna give you this, but like here on your lower back. <laughs> oh, the oh the the the, the yeah. tapping of the yeah. <laughs> but it's not yeah. my hand. Oh. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. okay. I get it. I get it. Uh, Massage, yo, massages, yo, massages are probably one of the best. They probably are the best time, to, time whip to, to whip it out. They really. What are. about what about the, just just plain old vacation? Like during the your entire vacation. Well, if yeah, you are, but, but I mean, that's that's, that's like, a given. Yeah, that is a given. I mean, you are you giving every with somebody every day all the time. I think hotel rooms are specifically set up for just people just ruining their sheets and their yes. beds. That's yeah. just, it's just, I mean, yeah. I would hate to work at a hotel and be like, oh, what is, what happened here last night? Oh, <laughs> unspeakable things have happened on these sheets. Oh, nope. <laughs> they have I, to know. I wonder if our audience wonders if you have voices in your head, Manny. There are many voices in there my head. Different things. You seem to channel different characters. And at first, <laughs> I thought it was a gift. Now I think it's a curse. Um, it's a gift and a curse. Um, it's like you can't control it. It's one of those situations where it depends on the situation. <laughs> and you know, on the situation. Time, I just thought about it. Another good time to whip it out is right after a shower. You are taking the shower. You're you're walking in no, a no, towel, no. and you just before, during, and after. Because before it's like. Hoo! We need to go wash that stank stank. And then you go in there and you're like, damn, I love how that water glistens on your body. Can't help this happening. And then afterwards, it's like, well, we're already clean. We might as well get dirty again. I have to say damn. that quote, by the way. Is this a the- Skinamax thing? Like, what was happening? No, no, I have to say with that quote during the shower, that's probably, that's, that's a very, that, that was a brilliant quote. What? What he just said. While we're in the it, shower, let's, let's. No, no, no. He said, your, your skin is glistening with this water coming. That's something like that. I would, that, that was very. No, no one would take you, Joe, seriously. If you said that to them. <laughs> I you, guarantee. With, with your I, New York if accent. I re, if I record okay. it. If yo, I record it. Yo. Wait, if, wait, I first who says yo? You've known me for 20 years. What the fuck do I say yo during a conversation? I don't know. I, that was me, but I know you are a woman. That was you. You did that shit. No, <laughs> <laughs> Back then, back then, back then, back then, when we, when, when we all used to work at Silvergo and there was too many people that he would that he would try to take home or he knew there was going to be a lot of people that were going to be packed in his car. He'd be like, yo, guys, only two people, three people. My car is too small. I can't pack everybody. And you said that before. I remember that. I know that oh. because, because everybody wanted a ride. That's also a perfect time to whip it out when everybody's got a lap on each other. It's like, I'll take the hot girl. <laughs> you know what's a great thing to whip it out? Um, Bam. Back in high school, okay, when we used to cut, right? A whole bunch of guys, a bunch of girls. We went to, we went to our, our um, Asian oh, guys. Friend's house, right? And you know, the, it, I don't know. I don't know if it's, if it's everywhere, but in New York, the Asian parents work really, really hard, really long hours. So they're right. never there. You know, it's so everywhere. They come at night, and then they go to, then they wake up early in the morning. So we'd hang out there till evening time, and we used to shove each other in the closet and like lock yourself in there like kind of like kind of like a 10 minutes seven heaven, minutes kind of seven, heavy, seven minutes yeah, in heaven seven, something seven. like that that is the perfect time to whip it out when you were when you were thrown into a closet with a chick or two chicks in my case and you just whip it out and see what happens i just guide their hand and let them let them let them go oh oh so there you go seven minutes of heaven when you that's the best time to whip it out you youngsters that are listening uh yeah do it then whip how it about a, how about a talent show a what a talent show. Yeah. Elaborate. Remember, Please elaborate. Okay. So you remember um <laughs> Stewie, uh, Stewie from Mad TV? Look, from, Manny, from Manny, please come to the main office. There's uh the police are outside for you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you remember uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> you remember Stewie from Mad uh Mad TV? No, yeah. what I can do. I I know Stewie from uh, Family Guy. No, no Mad TV. Stewie Mad was TV. A big, I never watched like a, Mad TV. Never was watched a, Mad he TV. He was a big old fucking baby. Like he I a, never yeah. watched Mad TV. So wow. I, 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 mad, I, so wow. I am, so I am, I incorporate that with um, Zach and Mary make a porno. You guys remember I, that movie? I saw the movie one time. I don't really think I liked it, but carry on. Okay, Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. Yes, is in there, and he erects his penis on 
demand. That was his like little gift or whatever in that movie. Right, right. So in a talent show, I imagine just going, and this is just imaginary in my head. Look what I can do. Oh, and then you know whatever. I it's literally thought you out. disappeared from your background just now. I did went back because it was just so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought he was gonna go like. Oh. <laughs> I gotta do that again. How did I do that? Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm just Yo. kidding. Talent talent shows are horrible. Don't do it. No, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. It's terrible. Because you will get arrested. What are you, a dis- yes. what are you a dispatch or something? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's getting ready. He's getting ready. Do you hear him? Um, yeah, he's, he's getting ready for no. that phone call. Give me, a place to, give me a place to whip it out. Mr. Guajarritos, please don't over whip that your dick anymore. Please. No dead That's air. Right. I don't know what you're saying. I have no idea what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> uh, whip it out, another, Joe. Another place to whip it out is um, your backyard. Okay. Uh, elaborate. We're, we're doing hookah, right? You have company. Uh, let's just say, oh, like, are you saying say, Jason's backyard? Yes. So, look, perfect scenario. Boom. Here we go. Wow. He's already got a plan for the next time he comes down. Wait. So, uh, it was like, it was like, <laughs> boom. It was like, boom. Here we go. Uh, Manny and Jason in the backyard of Jason's house, right? Why am I who, already there who, in his? Let me finish. Out let me, let me finish. <laughs> let me uh, finish. Who, <laughs> let me... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so boom, here we go. Manny and Jason in the backyard of Jason's house. Hookah in the middle of the table. Uh, barbecue, big thing, big barbecue, dome, big thing, big thing. Boy, barbecue thing is big thing. Barbecue totally is off. It's about it's about seven p.m. The, the sun's going down. You guys got three chicks in the backyard, right? It's romantical. Two, two of them for you. One of them questionable. I don't know. So I come downstairs. She used to be somebody else. So I come downstairs. <laughs> I come downstairs. I have a nice tight T-shirt on. My pants are off completely. I have no underwear. I come downstairs. Let me finish. <laughs> I had a whole thing going on here. Go ahead. Oh, it's, it's just entertaining now. Let's oh, do this. Shit. You guys doing your hookah. The two girls doing hookah. The third one is questionable. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's looking at youth for saying, hey, wasn't there a third guy here? Oh, Jay goes, yeah, he's upstairs getting ready or pampering himself. What are he's doing? I come downstairs. My hair slicked back. I got a nice white T-shirt on. Socks and sneakers. No pants. Come <laughs> I come in the backyard. I sit down. I say, hey, guys, how you doing? Awkward silence. No one says anything. They're all looking at my peen. (laughs) 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 Oh, oh, I'm going to die here. Now that is how you whip it out. (laughs) And that is how we end this episode. You can't get get over that. Who says Joe can't write a story? Who says that? You know, I thought this guy was a dumb fuck. No, he, he he's good. He's got some pros in him. Oh, oh my, my God, God I have a crying. terrible headache. I have a terrible... I, headache. I, I am crying. I hope oh. you guys enjoyed this episode as much, as much as we did. And I and I, and I, and I, and I legit had, had like a vision in my head of just... Of, of us all staring us, at your feet. I know, I know. Uh, no, well, that also, and of us doing that, like legit story. Frame by frame, we can probably in your backyard. We can do it. I would have. I would have. We can. Yes, we can. Female friends. I would have yes, definitely. Um, I would have definitely blindfolded Joe and be like, "Don't worry, Atto's gonna take good care of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my teeth out of my mouth right now." He like it. He lets us about it. He like it. So don't even. Don't tempt. Don't tempt Joe at a good time. He needs it right now. Oh hey, my Ethel, God. Come here, Ethel. Come here, Ethel. Let me see them. Let me see them saga titties, Ethel. Come on. Gonna, oh, I'm going to, you've already whipped it out. I'm going to complete the situation I, I, for you. I don't know if whether to thank you guys for listening or apologize that you heard this episode, <laughs> but but look at it this way. We needed this. You guys needed this. You know, we'll go back to, <laughs> to the melancholy. We want to kill ourselves episodes. But for right now, you know, this is what we needed. So uh, I've been Jason. And, I, and I'm Joe. 
And I'm dying over here. My name is Manny. And that <laughs> is it for the last of Nice Guys. Thank you <coughs> for your time. And don't forget to whip Watch, it out. Stop, stop showing me that come up inappropriate. Hey, hey, oh, let it go. It's over. The episode's over. The last of the nice guys. Follow, like, and subscribe on Twitter and Instagram at Last Nice Guys. Facebook.com slash Last Nice Guys or email Last of the Nice Guys at Yahoo.com. <laughs> <laughs>